Hello everyone, welcome to the vlog. Today I wanted to do a little painting because it's been a while and the other day I was at the craft store getting yarn for my fluffy flowers and you'll never believe what I found. I found a heart canvas. This is not literally just like the cutest little thing you've seen in your entire life. So I knew that I had to use it. Also, I just realized one of my studio lights is not on. Actually, a couple of my lights are not on. It's like probably fine. I am so excited to be using this. I wanted to paint something similar to my moments, of course, because I've really been on that flower grind. I don't know why, but I love, love flowers right now. I think it's because it's spring and spring is coming, but like I have this guy on my desk today. We are in a flowery mood, as you can see. So cute, I'm really livening up my space. I wanted to do a little painting with you guys. Hopefully this is doable in a day because I only really have a day to work on this. So we're also kind of in a crunch time. I have heart canvas, I have snack. What more could I possibly need, you know? We're just gonna start, you know? I kind of have an idea. I wanted to paint like, like a self-portrait kind of, like me laying in a flower field, but like cute, you know? So here's the canvas. It's pretty small. So I think this is doable in a day. We're just gonna get started. I'm going to get some breakfast first. I'm gonna go downstairs and eat. And then we're going to get started on this guy. Day in my life, today we're painting. <laughs> I'm back. I need to get my paints, which are actually behind me. I think we have everything we could need. We have the sky, water, brushes, and of course, little babies. <laughs> So the first thing I'm going to do is sketch out my drawing. I used to not use pencil because I didn't like the way that the graphite would mix with the paint, but I think at this point I might need a pencil, so. Oh, this pencil's so pretty. I haven't used this in so long. All right, this is the pencil of choice today. I actually completely forgot that I own this, but is this pencil not like super cute? Like it has little flowers on it and it's, I just, I love, I love the hand feel. So we're gonna sketch out our design and I wanted to share with you guys one of the ways that helps me draw things on occasion. So just sketch.me is an application that you can use that helps you kind of pose like a figure in space. I've always been looking for something like this and normally I would have to look online for like references that already exist. This way you can spend less time planning and more time actually creating art and planning is probably one of my least favorite parts. So full disclosure, this is a sponsored segment, but this is what I've been using to to draw my little character. So here we have my little person. Manipulate joints. As you can see, you can like move their legs and stuff. There's also like shapes and props. So if I wanted to add like hair, you can move it onto your character. There's also stylized characters. So if you are into like anime, they have like anime versions, which is actually very helpful at times. There's also chibis which are really, really cute. I wish I had this when I was like younger because I would have loved the chibis. Variations of what they have on here. So I'm just gonna get this character to lay down like this. So I could adjust all the little fingers and stuff, but I'm not gonna be doing that. Move the arms and legs out a little bit. So I'm going to transfer what I see here onto my little heart canvas. And I'm just gonna do a very simplistic style today, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna sketch out my design. I'd like to thank JustSketch.me for sponsoring today's video. And it is currently available for free with no time limit. So you can sign up using the link in the description box and start creating. Definitely check that out there. I will have everything that you need down below. I'm mainly using this just as a guide so that I can do like the perspective right because I'm actually really bad at that. Especially with like the human body, if I don't have a reference, I'm actually quite lost half the time. So with this application, I'm really able to like visualize a character in space, which helps me quite a bit. Look how cute this is. I think it's gonna be so cute on my wall. I don't know if I'll put it in here, if I'll put it in my bedroom, but let's finish the painting first and then we can decide where to put it. If this goes well, I need to go back to the same craft store and get like a bunch of heart canvases because it's literally, it's literally so cute. So I literally don't have a single eraser for some reason. So I'm gonna try my best to do this with no eraser. I wanted to paint like, I don't know, a little, a little guy in a little dress. 
But I want to get as much of this right as I possibly can. I want to do like a baby doll dress before I start painting because I already know that I, I like inherently hate pre-planning, but if I don't do this, it's going to be such a pain for me. I think this looks wrong because the head is wrong. Like the body looks right, the head looks a little bit disjointed. So <laughs> I need to find an eraser. Why do I not have any? I don't know why my life is so difficult, but this is literally the only erasers that I can find right now. And there are these Sumiko Garashi erasers that I never use, but today we will use one of them because it is an emergency, but they're little grass guys and they're so cute. Get rid of the head. This is why I don't like using graphite on canvas because it, it's so like messy. My apologies to this little grass man. It's getting really hurt. I don't know what I want to do for her face yet. So we'll just do that. But oh, she's looking cute. I've been doing digital for so long that I feel like I kind of high key forgot how to do this, which is why I like to paint like every once in a while. Time to work out the legs. They look a little strange, but yeah, we are getting there, I think. She looks like she's floating in space right now. I want to give her like a crown all of a sudden. Right now, her proportions, like the composition, this needs to be higher up. So I'm going to give her a little paper crown. So it actually, the point would actually be up here. Oh, so cute. I think this is pretty much how I want it. I'm just going to clean this up a little bit and then we're going to start painting. Sketching this actually took so much less time than normal because of this application that I've been using. So this was actually such a sleigh. <laughs> Should I give her a sunny angel face? It's cute. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. I'm going to finish up this sketch and then we're going to we're gonna start painting. I'm getting excited. It looks cute. Okay. Here is an update. This is what I have. We have a little bunny girl. I think the ears on her hat are still a little messed up, but overall, this is my little design. We're gonna do flowers all over. So it's gonna look like a little meadow. I'm very excited. I think it's very cute. I was gonna do a crown, but then I realized why do that when I have the bunny ear character that I never really do anything with. That's what we're doing. Also, here is the remnants of our sad little eraser man. He's been going through it. But yeah, I think I'm ready to paint. So I have my paints here. They reside in this cute little pink box. I say we just get started because I'm I'm really excited. Got lots of materials. I'm just going to start with the background. Sorry for all the fumbling. I'm just looking at my brushes. This part's going to be really similar to the Moomin painting. I'm basically just going to have like a dark green background, paint flowers over that. So this part's going to be pretty fast, hopefully. I might have to do a couple coats, but... The entire background is going to be one color. I'm going to mix up like a dark green and I think I need some brown in this. I guess I could do some layers to this just so that there's like a little bit more depth. I'm so excited. I've been wanting to do this painting for a long time now and it's finally happening. I feel like sometimes those are like the best paintings. But even then, I'm already having so many like happy discoveries. The bunny hood, I did not have in my vision. I think it's really cute and it adds like some of my personality to it, you know? Ooh. Should I do layers? Like, I don't know. I really don't know. I kind of want to. It won't really like change anything other than that we're gonna have a little bit more depth, but I think it'll be a good thing. Right now, I'm not being too careful with the edges here because as you can see, I'm gonna have to build up some layers. It's not really gonna make too big of a difference whether I'm careful of the outlines or not. And also the way I paint is a lot of the times I end up carving out a lot of shapes. So I prefer to go over paint instead of under. This is a pretty small canvas, so hopefully everything dries pretty quickly. It is a pretty sheer color, so we're gonna have to go through a couple times, but that is okay by me. The only thing, is that because this is a heart canvas, the edges are very like wrinkly. That's okay, honestly. What a good trade-off. Well, first of all, I can't put this on the table because it's gonna get paint places. I need to figure out how I'm doing these layers. I think we'll just cut it off here. I'm gonna let this layer dry and then we're gonna go in with a second coat, obviously. I'm gonna lighten this color a little bit and we're gonna do like another stripe. Should I do stripes? Like, does that even make sense? Well, it doesn't have to make sense, but like, will it look better? I think it will make it look better, which is why I, I want to do it. We're gonna use this guy to kind of prop this up. Let's add some white and some yellow. Oh, 
It landed on my canvas. Oh my gosh, you see that? I literally, that's crazy. The universe is on my side today. I got the second green color. I'm scared I'm gonna get paint on this sweater. This is so cute. I'm really excited about this already. <laughs> I kind of think I, I was in my head seeing only white flowers, but also I want to do a white dress for her. So maybe we should do like, I wanted her hood to be pink and I wanted her dress to be white. So maybe the flowers should be just pink and white. I think we'll do that instead of just white, which is what I had planned. Second layer as in like the second shade. And now we're gonna mix up a third shade and then the lightest shade at the top. This part is so fast cause there's like nothing in the way. So you just paint the whole thing. Green, 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 green. I honestly hate how this looks while it is in <laughs> just the green stage. It just looks so boring, but it'll get better, I swear. I'm gonna have to start switching brushes soon because as you can see, getting close to adding some details. I think we're gonna do three coats of each shade and that will be solid because after the second one, it's like you can already see it's close to being good, but there's just a few patches. So after the third one, I think we'll be solid. Ta-da, all solid. Well, not perfect. Don't look at it too closely, but the paint is still wet right now. I have to hold it like this because there's no like bar in the back, which canvases usually have, but because this is so little, it doesn't have one. It's not perfect, but it doesn't have to be because I'm going to be putting um, flowers on top anyway. So arguably you might not even notice half of this. So I think I'm going to start filling in the little girl now. She's so cute. I'm very excited. And then by the time I get some progress made on her, hopefully the green will be completely dry and then we can start painting flowers which will probably take me the longest, but I, I'm quite confident I can fill this whole canvas in one day because I feel like it's not that much. So progress check is going well. Also, I'm eating watermelon. Okay, so it's detail time and I'm excited. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to, oh, this is a little bit too brown. Um, I'm going to start blocking in the whiter color. As you can see, I'm using like off-white color because I don't want it to be completely just white because it's just gonna be a little bit too bright. So I have this like milky color and with similar to many of the paints that I have, I'm gonna have to do a couple of coats. I can't rest my hand on this painting yet because it's still wet. I want to start kind of carving out the edges of these things. I think I'm going to outline her in black as well so the edges don't have to be perfect, but I'm probably going to try to make them look pretty nice. But most importantly, I just want to start laying down solid colors and getting rid of all of this graphite. So there is the dress color for now. I'd like to block out her arms and legs as well. So I kind of have to redraw some of these shapes, which is fine. It just makes me a little bit nervous sometimes because I'm scared I'm gonna like mess it up, but I still have some background color. As you can see, her arms have turned into like sticks because have covered so much of it while painting the background. So I'm gonna bring these arms back, L-M-A-O and the face. As you can see, the graphite is going to mix into the first layer of paint. So I'm gonna have to go through and paint this again, probably a couple of times. A lot of this is also gonna be covered a little bit by flowers. I'm going to try my best to carve everything out right now. I might have to go back in with the background color and kind of like fix some things too. Blocking all these shapes in. I think I overextended this dress a little bit. So just going in with some green and fixing that. Also this leg. Wow, that made a big difference. That looks a lot better. I don't really remember what this hand looked like. And then we're gonna just do the same thing on this side. And now I think I'm gonna do the hair color and then the bunny hood. So I was kind of debating on what color I wanted this hair to be, but I decided to just make it this darker color. I think I'm gonna do a little bit more coats of everything before I start moving on, because as you can see, I'm starting to layer and this just makes it more complicated sometimes when you have not enough coats of certain colors and you're about to go over it with other colors. But since this hair is also gonna be beneath the hood, I had to go in and add it now. So for my process, when it comes to painting, it's just like a lot of layering. And so that's kind of how I decide what to paint next. So while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm gonna go and do the second coat of the dress. I feel like the dress is gonna need so many coats because this is not getting as opaque as quickly as I'd hoped. Oh my gosh. So the painting currently looks like this. I'm speaking a little quietly because I think Banana Muffin is awake and I don't want to scare her. 
I want to go say hello. So let's go say hello. She's not normally awake during the day, so I don't normally see her, but this is really exciting. I feel like she rules this room. Like I'm the human, but like, I'm always just like tiptoeing around her because I'm scared I'll bother her. Hello. Are you eating some corn? Are you chewing up some corn? Hello. She's so funny. Why do you look like that? Do you want to come outside? Can we hang out, please? OMG. Rare banana muffin sighting in the morning. Hello. I think she's getting used to me because she's not like shaking at all. She used to shake a lot, like vibrate and not in like the hamster purring way, but in like a, I'm unsure what I'm standing on way when I used to hold her, but she's not doing that at all right now. Hi, do you know who I am? She's so funny. Uh, she lives in this room and this is my studio room. The tinies currently live downstairs. Oh my gosh, you haven't shaken once since I've picked you up. Do you know who I am now? Taming her has been a process. We've definitely had our ups and downs. I think she's getting used to being held and stuff. Do you wanna sniff the camera? Back to painting. <laughs> Hopefully all of my layers have dried by now. That would be pretty awesome. Finally got some pink on here. So it looks so cute. So now I'm going to paint the pink bunny hat on. And I think I need to switch brushes because this one's feeling too large. But yeah, our painting is starting to come together, I feel. Right now I'm going to add some little blush. And also I've always liked to add little like knee pads on my characters. So I'm gonna make sure to do that. But I think after we finish this character, which will be pretty soon, we're gonna outline her and then we can pretty much start uh, painting all the flowers, which is the easy part. Yeah, I changed the color of the hood a little bit in case you couldn't tell. It's just not very solid yet. So I have to wait for it to dry and do a second coat, but I think it is coming out cute. I'm thinking about what I can do to like add a little pattern to the dress, but maybe I'll do that after I outline it. Okay, it is officially time to do the outline. I am nervous, but I have to do it also because I'm gonna cover up this part with flowers, like this outline, because if you think about it, if you're laying in a field of flowers, you're gonna be covered by some of them. But I have my tiniest little brush. Time to start lining it. Am I nervous? Uh, I say I'm nervous, but like I've done this a lot and I think I have a pretty steady hand. So I don't know why I'm kind of nervous, but I think it will be fine. So we're gonna, gonna do this now. And I guess I'm gonna add a little face. I think it's just gonna be two dots and like a line. I, I don't wanna risk painting a face I don't like. <laughs> So let's, let's do this. This brush actually isn't in the best condition, which would make this a lot easier. So it's a little bit more difficult for me, but that's okay. I'm gonna wait to line that part because it's still a little wet. I think we can add the face. I'm nervous about the face. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I'm happy to finally getting to outline the hands because the edges were a little bit messy this whole time. A lot of times when I outline these things, it's just like a chance to like clean up the edges. I think with the black outline, I'm gonna be able to add a lot more like details to this dress. I'm thinking of <laughs> how I'm gonna do the face and I don't know. Should I like draw it out in pencil? I mean, that looks pretty cute. I think we need to just go for it, so. Okay, there's one eye. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. I did it. <laughs> I think we can do the bunny hood now, thank God, because it's been bothering me. So first I'm gonna do the top of the hair. My hand is starting to shake because I'm nervous. <laughs> it's so cute, it's so like funny. Okay, so now we have the bunny hood done. Now we can go and do the rest of the dress. I think I'm gonna add like this little cinched detailing here on the waist. I think I was a bit confused the whole time on how to do the dress, but... I think we'll do it like this. I guess technically I should have painted the underside of this dress a darker color, but it's too late now. <laughs> and it is all outlined now. I'm gonna add just a few little details, like some lines on the hair. And I think I'm gonna add those little marks that I made for like the inside of the bunny's ear. Um, so like this, some little marks there some pink flowers. Should I do flowers or should I do hearts? This one's already a heart, so I think I'm gonna do hearts. Mm, I don't know if I like those hearts though. I kind of don't. 
I wonder if I can wash them off. Yeah, the nice thing about acrylic paint is sometimes you can like just wash things off. Yeah. Nice. It's almost like they were never there. There's like a little trace, but like not really. LOL, ignore that those hearts ever even happened. So cute. So now we're gonna add the flowers, which is the part that's gonna start making it look good because it looks a little, a little frumpy right now. So I am ready. It is flower time. I think we're gonna start with white ones and we'll just, we'll just put little, little patches of pink ones in there, but. So I've started to add the flowers right now. I'm using a little off-white color, but soon I'm going to be switching to a white color so that I can have some more contrast, but I'm going to do these in patches here. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do an off-white patch up here and I'm gonna do one lower down so that there is just like some continuity, but I'm debating on what shapes of flowers I want to do and if I want to keep this in the same flower universe as the other ones. And I'm also debating if I want to add any blue flowers because I think that would be a cute color combo, but I'm not sure yet. So I think I might just continue on with what we have going on here and I will decide the flower colors as we go. But as you can see right now, I'm starting the bottom part. So the flowers down here are also the same color up there, but I just want to add them here before this shade of paint dries so that we have some like sense of consistency in this painting but i have to add flowers along this edge in a bit too you guys know that i am very particular with the edges of my paintings so i am making sure that i'm going to add flowers here as well but yeah this canvas isn't too big so i'm hoping that i can finish this soon here are the flowers on the edges so far so now it is time to start adding some of the pink flowers. I forgot how much faster it is to paint these little pink flowers as compared to the white ones because right now I am speeding through them. But also for the white ones, I need to do like several more coats and for these pink ones, I have to do less. But I'm just going through and doing the base coat for some of them. And of course I need to do the edges here as well. So I'm gonna make sure I do that. But I think after this shade of pink, I want to do some darker shades to really make it pop and I don't know if I'm gonna do blue because I feel like it'll be cute, but it'll also be unnecessary, but I don't know. Right now, as I'm saying it, I'm still kind of leaning towards adding some, but then I feel like I shouldn't add any darker pink if I do that, because then it'll be too busy. I don't know, so many options. You know what? I've decided it. I am gonna add blue. <laughs> it's just so cute. I feel like it'll look good. I'm adding the little dots now in between the flowers. I think I'm going to add the blue flowers, but only like a few. I won't do too many because I'm worried that if I veer off this color palette too much that I might ruin this. <laughs> and I really don't want that to happen, but I feel like I can envision a little bit of blue and it'll look really good, which is why I want to do it. So I think I'll add just a few little spots of it, but so far, it's coming out very, very good. I'm quite happy. We're just gonna keep going, fill up this whole thing. Of course, I am covering the edges. Oh, it looks cute. I'm covering the edges again. Honestly, a lot of work has to go into getting the edges right, but worth it when you put it on a wall. I'm excited. I might hang this up in my living room because I feel like maybe the colors will be cute. TBD after I put in the blue part. Things might change my mind. <laughs> spot, spot, spot. It's looking like this right now. We're gonna add the blue. It is officially time. I've been debating this for so, so long. I think this is gonna be cute. I'm gonna add a little bit more white to this shade just in case. Officially time for the first blue flower omg i feel like for me and the color palettes that i tend to stick with as long as the colors are pastel i don't think that they'll fight with each other too much so i'm quite confident that this will go okay i'm just gonna repeat the same process and put a bunch of these guys in here now looks so cute if i end up liking this shade of blue i might just add a slightly darker shade but I'm not sure. That will be to be de determined. But yeah, at this point of the painting, it's just me trying to 
fill in empty space. So I'm gonna do a bunch of that. Now that I've put in some of the blue spots, time to add the little dots in between. And I'm also just gonna try to fill in some of these empty spaces that are here. I'm not sure what I wanna do after this color though. I don't think I should do a darker blue, but I don't wanna do white because it takes way too many coats. And I think there's enough pink, so I'm not entirely sure. But there's also some of these spots here that I'm going to have to fill in so that it looks like she's actually laying on top of these flowers. So I'm gonna have to go back with the black outline, carve that back out, but I just don't know what my next step will be, but I guess I have some time to think about it while adding all of these little spots. So cute, OMG. We're pretty close to finishing it. There's just some patches left, adding more to the edges so that they look nice as well. I love how like a canvas looks when it's wrapped around the edge and then you also paint the edge. I think that like, it looks so finished and so good. Do, 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 do. But on the edges, sometimes I don't feel like painting entire flowers because it's not very necessary. So I just fill a lot of the spots in with little dots. And I need to remember to add the yellow centers to these as well. That's something that I want to do. They look pretty good without them, but I think it'll look even better with them, so. So I decided that I'm going to fill in the rest of the empty space with just this light pink color. So this is the last, like, pass through of this painting that I'm gonna do. I just have to fill in all of this space and then the yellow centers and then we will be done. But I'm gonna go in and map all of these out. Also, some of these areas have like a random empty space. So I'm gonna be doing that too. Oh my gosh, Hammy is awake again. Should we go say hello? I can hear her like chewing her little items. I don't know what she's eating, but it sounds crunchy. After I finish this layer, we can wait for it to dry and we can go see Hammy. So cute! I just have to do some of the edges, but there's not many. Hello, little ham. Hello, my sweet girl ham. Look at you being so sweet and so kind. Two outings in one day. What a big deal for you. She's so cute. She's like a little, she's like a little kitten. Doing so good. She's slowly getting socialized. You're so cute. Now I'm just going through and adding the dots, but I think overall it looks finished. So now it's just time to add a few little details. I got through all the edges too. Some of them need a little bit more like of a few coats, but overall it's cute. I love the shape of this canvas. I think it looks so good. And I th I'm trying to add more dots near like where her body is. When I go over the outlines, it'll feel more like she's on top of some of these flowers because I think that's the only part that is not coming through right now. So I'm trying to make it feel like she's laying amongst these flowers, if that makes sense. I'm adding some little details right now, like little hearts, just in places that kind of feel a little empty. I don't know how much these little pink hearts are gonna stand out, but they are a darker shade than like everything else here. I don't really mind if they don't, I just kind of wanted to do it. And I'm gonna use this color for some little spots as well. So now it is time to go through and do the black outline again. Now I'm going to do the little yellow centers of the flowers. I'm just gonna speed through this process cause I don't feel like boring you guys. You guys know the drill. I'm gonna, ooh, I'm gonna put a little yellow dot in all the flowers and then I think it'll be done. So we will check back in once I finish that. But I think the blue flowers look good, right? It's pretty cute. Oh my gosh, I just officially finished. It looks so cute. I'm very happy with how this came out. So we did it. Uh, I spent just one day doing this and it looks so cute. I'm happy. This is how it came out. I hope you guys enjoyed this process, watching me and like hanging out. I just really wanted to paint a little something today and I used the help of justsketch.me. So make sure you guys check them out. I'll have everything important linked down below in the description box. Yeah, I think it's so cute. It just needs to dry a little bit more, but then I'm gonna hang it 
on my wall. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. It might reside in this room because I feel like it fits the colors of this room. So cute, OMG. Also, oh my gosh, what a vibe. Honestly, what a vibe. <laughs> I've been obsessed with flowers lately, as you can tell. Yeah, I don't think I have much to say. I've been vlogging a lot recently, so check out my other videos if you guys haven't already to see what I've been up to, but yeah. Follow me on Instagram, stay hydrated, take a nap, and I will see you guys when I see you guys. Bye everyone.